Here's my news I want to share with you. For his fans who've been wondering why Stephen Fry has disappeared from his many stage and screen roles, an answer from the man himself. He's been fighting cancer. The first week of January, I had the operation. I've cut to the chase. Um, and uh, it all seemed to go pretty well. They took the prostate out. They took out 11 lymph nodes. <laughs> Don't worry, my boy. If you should falter, remember that Captain Darling and I are behind you. About 35 miles behind you. <laughs> the man whose career is rooted in making others laugh used his website to talk openly about finding what he described as something mischievous inside him. I went around saying to myself, I've got cancer. Good heavens, Stephen, you're not the sort of person who gets cancer. I mean, I know it's an old cliche, but you don't think it's going to happen to you. Cancer is something that happens to other people. I look down on row after row of the most overrated people on the planet. After 12 years hosting the BAFTAs, he wasn't there this month. He was recovering from successful surgery. I have been um, keeping my head down as much as possible because obviously you want to get better without, um, without strangers um, with the best intent in the world sending you all kinds of cards and flowers and letters because, uh, well, you have to answer them all. Mechanic Errol McKellar, who's also been successfully treated for prostate cancer, says Stephen Fry's message will increase awareness. What happened to Stephen Fry has just highlighted how serious this is because, you know, one in eight men will have this issue. Fry believes early intervention saved his life. Let's, uh, he's hoping I get another few years left on this planet because um, I enjoy life at the moment and um, that's a marvellous thing to be able to say. Paul Davis, ITV News.